Hello, I'm Johnny Archer and it is Wednesday, January 20th and here are the six things to know today. It is inauguration day and in just a few hours, President elect Joe Biden and Vice President elect Kamala Harris will be sworn into office. After they take their oaths, the new president will deliver an inaugural address laying out his vision for his presidency. Stay with NBC6 throughout the day on air and also on the NBC6 app. We have continuing coverage of today's events starting at 8 a.m. And President Trump issued a wave of 11th hour pardons, granting clemency to dozens before leaving office. The president pardoned 73 people and commuted the sentences for another 70. And perhaps the biggest surprise of the night, Mr. Trump is pardoning Steve Bannon. Among the biggest names on the list, rappers Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. And the FBI has arrested two people from South Florida in connection to the Capitol riot. One of the suspects is Gabriel Garcia. He was a former U.S. Army captain who ran for the Florida State House last year. According to a criminal complaint, the FBI received a tip that the second person, 25-year-old Felipe Marquez, was posted videos on Snapchat showing him in the U.S. Capitol. And the state will expand its vaccination program with Publix in Palm Beach and Monroe counties, the two locations in Monroe County where vaccines will be given is in Isla Mirada and Key West. Residents can start making reservations today. And tax season could look different this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. NBC6 Response reporter Sasha Jones spoke to an IRS spokesperson about what you can expect. You can watch her story on NBC6.com. Okay, here guys, we are looking at mostly sunny skies as a front remains well to our north. So no weather maker uh, driving rain for us today here with low humidity and high pressure. Just grab those sunglasses. You're going to need it for the next several days here and a warming trend as our winds begin to switch to the south and southwest between now and the end of the week. So Friday, we could be flirting with the 80s here if that southwest wind does materialize with the sunshine and then we stay really nice right into the weekend. So we're just adding a few degrees to our highs, a few degrees to the lows here. Humidity shouldn't be out of control either. In fact, really low humidity now. So all in all, you can't ask for a much better forecast than this. Just a couple of spotty showers. It looks like Johnny as we hit Sunday. All right. Sounds good, Adam. Thank you. And those are your six things you need to know today. You can always follow all these stories and get a check on the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember, you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. Have a good day.